look better than me, you You could be nice you look ten. Same. You're nice and ten. I look at you and I'm like, is that me? Or is that me? I swear to God, we look the same. I'm surprised your dad didn't say bye, Lauren. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I actually have a guest with me. Uh, her name Hi. is Audrey. Her name's Audrey, she's my hairdresser and she's also a good friend of mine and she's here today to talk about hair and we're going to talk about my hair in particular. Uh, Audrey's going to explain basically how um, she got my hair from a really dark brown to the pink magenta colour that it is now. I get heaps and heaps and heaps of questions. Lauren, how did you do your hair? Well, firstly, I didn't do it. Audrey did. And second, <laughs> how do you keep the colour so vibrant and your hair shiny and blah blah blah. So I thought, who better to tell you all about, all about my hair? Um, than Audrey, so because she knows everything and she's a professional, and basically she will be able to explain everything a lot better than me. And she does all the work, really. All I do is wash my hair. You you maintain it. I maintain. You it. do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So odds. How? Explain a little bit how you basically got, got my dark dark brown hair to this sort of color. What was the process? Okay. So we started off with um, doing foils so ombre balayage cascading color whatever you want to call it dark to light dark to light whatever you yep. want to call it um basically starting with foils sectioning the hair and the most important thing with ombre is teasing the roots so you get a blend and not a straight across line see how it's blended you can see that it just it just fades to pink basically it's not a straight line. I would hate it if I had like yeah. a straight line. I'd be like, Audrey, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> so that technique is teasing. You've got to tease the root of the hair and then apply the bleach to the foil, to the hair on the foil. I did a full head, full head scattered foils basically. That's what so I did. Basically scattered as in just every Random hair. pieces, yeah. um, but the full head. So yeah. we left some brown down the bottom. It's not all pink. Mm -hmm. There's um, a, yeah, a little bit of brown down the bottom, if you can see it. So how long... <laughs> I remember I was uh, sitting in the chair for ages. Was it like a five-hour process? Oh, yeah, it was like five <laughs> hours. So, so, so after you put the foils in, yeah, we waited. We waited for the bleach to process. The thing is, with the toner, I'll talk about the toner later, but with the toner, it says to get the hair to a white before you apply the toner. Mm. The thing is, with with bleach, you know, you can't really get it to a white because it's quite damaging and your hair could end up being really porous and dry. And that's not what I wanted. So, I don't want that. Yeah, no, we got it to a yellow and the toner worked perfect. So you don't have to get it to a white like it says. Um, I got the bleach to a yellow that I was happy with. Rinsed it off, rinsed all the foils off, shampooed the hair twice. We didn't apply conditioner to it because we put the toner on before the conditioner. Now, the toner, it's a brand called Paintbox. So it's a fudge. Um, you can find these in any hair suppliers, Priceline, any yeah. type of... I got mine from Priceline Yeah, because that was just easiest. Yeah, there's heaps of Pricelines everywhere. Yep, so it London. looks like this. This one's called Pink Moon. The other one is Raspberry Beret. I mix equal amounts together to create this color. So Raspberry Beret and Pink Moon by Paintbox Fudge. And they're how roughly, much do you think? They're roughly about $17 to $20. Yeah. It just depends. And as far as a bottle goes, I can't remember. Do I use like a whole bottle or like half of half? I used half remember. and half for your oh. hair. So half Pink Moon, half Raspberry Beret for one application. And then the next time, um, we don't do the bleach again, so we don't do the foils again, we just do a toner. And I do not colour, well, fudge my hair no, for in between, ages. In between visits of me, for no. ages. You can probably do it yourself at Definitely. Home. You can do it yourself. Yeah. It's just a, you know, um, to touch up. Yeah, put gloves on and just, you know, emulsify your hair in the shower or wherever and then leave it on for about 20 minutes. So I left, a to I left Lauren's toner on for about 20 minutes. Um, when I was happy with it, you know, I checked it to see if it was ready, rinsed it off thoroughly, popped a treatment in it, and cut and blow waved her hair. Yeah, so, I don't colour my hair at all at home, even though I can if I really wanted to. Yeah. I actually don't need to, um, because it doesn't fade, and the reason being, I 
have taught Lauren to <laughs> to use <laughs> special shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Um, none of this supermarket shampoo and conditioner. It's really important for a hairdresser to educate you, educate their clients on how to um, use home care products at home. Basically, I've recommended to Lauren a color freeze shampoo, which is from Schwarzkopf. It's a Bonicure range, so it's color freeze shampoo, but it's also sulfate free. So sulfate is in a lot of shampoos and conditioners, a lot of supermarket and and um, head. Um, professional range as well. Sulfate is salt, so it strips champ it strips color out of hair. Mm. Sulfate is what is in detergents. It's what lathers the hair up. It's what makes the lather really bubbly. If your shampoo lathers really really bubbly, it's a no no. Get rid of it when you got colored hair. Yeah, when you got colored hair. Sulfate free shampoo is fantastic because it won't strip the color out of hair, which you won't get a really, really bubbly lather. And that's the mistake heaps of people make. They're yeah. like, Lauren, how do you keep the pink in your hair? Yeah. Well, I, I wash it with really good And how product. often do you wash your hair? Once a week. My hair doesn't get oily and it doesn't get dry. Yeah. So I don't need to wash it more than once a week and I give it a really good wash, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I let the conditioner stay in there as well. And then I go on and I use treatments. Yeah. This product here is um, Miracle Hair Treatment. It's by Eleven Australia. It's made in Australia. It smells it amazing. Coconut. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like the beach. That's I basically love it. why I use it because yeah. I love the smell. I mean, it, it does smell amazing. It does wonders for my hair anyway, but if it didn't smell nice. It's in a cream it. form. So you just pump a couple squirts in your hair. You apply it to wet hair before you blow dry the hair. It does 11 things. So it adds shine, smoothness, and softness, controls frizz and flyaways. It's a moisturizer, basically for the hair. Strengthens fragile hair, prevents split ends, detangles and create manageability. Protects against heat styling, so it's a very good heat, heat protector. protector before yeah. you blow away and whatever. Enhances natural body, repairs dry damaged hair, protects hair colour from UVA and UVB filters. That's why my hair doesn't fade. Yep. Yeah. And prevents chlorine and sun damage, so it's basically a sunscreen as well. It's yeah. 11 products in one, and I swear by it. I love it. I swear by it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it too. So, yeah. Another thing with Lauren... Um, if you're wondering why her hair always looks so healthy and shiny, considering the bottom half of her hair has been bleach, and bleach is the worst chemical in the world, and the ends are the most fragile bit on hair. So you're popping the worst chemical on the most fragile bit of your hair. So it's, ombre is quite dangerous, but you just got to know what you're doing. Yeah. And go to someone that knows what That's exactly doing. right. So really professional. Don't try and bleach your hair at home. No. I've seen disasters. No, no, no. Yeah. So why her hair always looks shiny, uh, well, healthy, and her ends don't look split, she does her treatments and she <laughs> does all of that, but she also gets regular haircuts. Her hair is long. Eight weeks. Yeah, every eight weeks, six to eight weeks, she gets a haircut. And just a baby trim, but that it cuts off her split ends, which promotes growth. That's why her hair's always long and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear by haircuts. I get it. I mean, my hair's long too, and I get a haircut every six yeah. weeks without a fail. Always. You need to, otherwise you just have rain. It blow waves better, yeah. and well, that, I rest, well, just this morning, Audrey's cut yeah. some more layers, um, layers, so that the blow wave really sits nice and bouncy. Um, so make sure you you cut your hair. Well, trim your hair. Trim. At least every six trim. to eight weeks because it does help. And don't worry about, oh, I don't want my hair short. It's not going to matter because I used to be like that. Yeah. And then I'm like, no. Don't cut too much off and, oh, no, let's push it ten weeks. No, let's do six to eight weeks and cut that much off and you will see the difference. Every time. So I think that's all the questions asked that, peop that people have continually asked me since I've had the pink hair and everyone compliments, which means... It's definitely a compliment to you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so if you would, uh, if you like this video, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also on the screen here is Audrey's Instagram page, Audrey underscore hair, and down below in the description bar, I'll also have a link to her Instagram. You can go check her workout. If you're from Melbourne, Australia, please definitely hit her up um, if you need your hair so, done. So yeah, go follow Audrey's Instagram and um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Make my hair juicy.